dementia is the, the term we're giving to losing your memory and your speech. And that is caused by diseases. And the most common cause is, is Alzheimer's disease. Brain diseases, Alzheimer's disease being the most common, causes dementia which gets worse over time. I mean, roughly two thirds of people with dementia are over 80. And in the beginning, it will be just uh, an exaggerated forgetfulness. But over time, the memory loss will get worse and worse. Their thinking will be affected, their speech will be damaged. And as a result, their behavior changes because if you can't remember, then it's easy to make mistakes and it's easy to get lost. It's often said that there are around 100, but if you're, if you're working with people who are aged, and so that's people over 75, it's really three diseases, Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm. but also vascular dementia, and that's a dementia that's caused by lots of tiny strokes. So people normally have had a history of high blood pressure or cigarette smoking, and they get lots of tiny strokes in the brain which accumulate, and so you get, you get a dementia that is, is as severe as Alzheimer's disease, but it's very, very patchy as it progresses because you don't know when a person's going to have a stroke, where in the brain it will be, or even how severe it's going to be. And then there's a, a rarer form called Lewy body disease, and that, that's a, a disease that is very similar to Alzheimer's, but it also looks like Parkinson's disease. The person shuffles and falls and slows down their movements. But quite distressingly, they have hallucinations and delusions. But those are the big three. You can say with confidence, no, it's not. The vast majority of people are elderly. And what we say is that over the age of 70, there's no known inheritance pattern. If somebody's young when they get dementia, there is a rare type of Alzheimer's disease, simply called familial Alzheimer's disease, and then it is inherited, but it's exceedingly rare and always presents itself in the 40s and 50s. So given the two thirds of people are over the age of 80, I can reassure you that no, there's no reason to fear inheritance of dementia. The diseases that cause dementia are incurable, but it is important to get an early diagnosis because there are some treatments that can be offered, but also uh, you want to prepare for the future. What you're looking for is extraordinary forgetfulness. I mean, everybody can forget where they've put their keys, but you don't forget the names of your children. You, know, you don't fail to recognize your grandchildren. And so it's that, it's that out of character, severe form of memory loss that you're picking up on. But there are other things, it, it, it's doing silly things, putting food into the cooker when it should have gone into the fridge. Or maybe it's tripping up over words. So you start to notice that conversation isn't as easy, or the person may fail to find the word. That's not what you would typically expect simply because someone's old. At the point of diagnosis, it's those other things such as errors and especially speech problems that you start to think, yes, this could be indicating dementia. So if you think there is a problem, it makes a lot of sense to keep a diary. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see the, the picture that evolves and you'll, you'll get a real sense that, yes, this is not what I would have expected with my mum or dad or may even be your, your husband or wife. And, and with that evidence, it then makes sense to go to the doctor or encourage the person to go to the doctor. And, and rather than just simply say, my mum or dad's memory isn't very good, you've got the evidence that says, look, on Thursday, he didn't recognise his granddaughter, and Saturday, he didn't seem to know my name. What I've often uh, come across is that you take advantage of some other ailment. If dad's got a cold, if you say, oh, let's, go, let's get you checked out, and you forewarn the GP or the GP's receptionist that we're coming in with a cold, but can you just have a, have a just, just check? What do you think of their memory? And that might be a way of doing it. Of course, being told that your partner or parents got dementia is, is upsetting, but there, there is a, a good reason. There are some treatments. It takes away that uncertainty. It can take away blaming, you know, because you now know that dad's got dementia rather than doing it deliberately. So I think you can look to the future with greater confidence and, and maybe with, with less fear and foreboding than you would have done if you didn't know what was going on.